Hi, my name is Kristen Cladstrup, and I am the author of The Nutcracker Mice. When I was little, I definitely was not one of those people who felt compelled to write. I read books all the time. That's, you know, it was like one long reading session from the moment I learned how to read until uh, now, you know. <laughs> I also drew a lot of pictures, so I think what probably was happening, I was imagining all sorts of things and I would draw pictures, and I drew, 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 lots and lots. My parents kept lots of paper around. There was one really wonderful year where my friend and I played with troll dolls. Do you remember those little dolls? And we, we just spent the whole year making things up about the trolls, and there was a, a little troll that was smaller than the others. And uh, together we wrote a book about that little troll. And we wrote every chapter with, went on a big long sheet of yellow legal paper. And at the end of the chapter, we would draw a picture of whatever she was doing. And it even had kind of a plot. In every chapter, she would get into some terrible mess that she had to find her way out of. And I think we probably wrote three or four chapters before we stopped. But I, I do have a strong memory of that. It's a book that has a female little girl who's the, a main character, and it has a second main character who's a mouse. And uh, these two characters can't talk to each other. They can't write letters to each other. There's really no way for them to communicate, and yet the story hinges on their caring about each other and working to help each other. And uh, it's up, kind of up to the reader to have this excitement of um, seeing that both characters have, show a lot of intuition about the other character. And I'm proud that I was able to make that communication between them without ever doing anything more overt than having their thoughts match up with what happened. I have to say, more than any other book I've written, uh, this book is written for the young Kristen. Um, when I was little, I liked, I loved books about mice. I loved books in which a main character, human character, would imagine things about the world or toys or objects, and then those things might be true about toys or objects. And I, I absolutely loved books about small things. I liked books where people help each other through um, just kind of in ordinary ways. Something that comes to mind is that when I was younger, I took lots and lots of piano lessons from the time I was five, and, and then I went to college and I continued to take piano lessons, but suddenly I didn't have as much time to uh, practice. In fact, I remember going to one lesson where I hadn't practiced the piece I'd been assigned at all. And <laughs> luckily I had a wonderful teacher and he, he knew that, he knew I hadn't practiced these, and he used the lesson to teach me how to practice. So I started trying to play it, and I me immediately messed up in two measures. And then I went back to, to replay them properly, and he said, no, stop. Here's what I think you should do when you start a new piece of music. Play it at a tempo at which you can play through without mistakes, and that way you get a feeling for the whole piece of music. And so I try to have that same attitude. I don't know if I succeed much, but when I'm trying to write a story or a novel, I try to have that try to play through the whole thing before you revise. And I, my impulse is to want to revise because I think I, I write a pretty bad first draft. But it's much better just to try to get as far as possible, even to the end. I don't think I've quite done that yet, but I'm working on it. <laughs> first started writing my first book that got published, which was the book of story beginnings. I, I tried to write things before, but this was a book where I said, okay, you know what? If you don't write a book, it's never going to get written, so I just, you're going to just try to write this book, and you're going to have a good time doing it. You're going to have fun, you're going to write it, and you're not going to worry about anything. So I wrote and wrote. I wrote lots of chapters, and I was having a good time. And then someone I knew very slightly said, oh, 
We're starting a critique group at work, would you like? And we'll meet after work and critique each other's writing. And I immediately said, oh, okay. Well, then I thought more about it and I started to get kind of panicky because I'd never, I mean, I, I, people had read what I'd written before, but I'd never, something I, I really cared about writing this book. And so I called a friend who was a writer and I said, please, please, I'm gonna mail you some chapters. Would you please read them? And, and I just need you to tell me, like, they're not ridiculous and that they're okay. And, and I told her about the critique group and she said, sure, I'll read them. Well, she did and she liked them. She called me, she said, no, I really like it. I think you're a good writer. And then she was really nice. She said, I think you're a better writer than I am, which has felt honest. I know it was true or not, but she just was so nice about it. And then that stuck with me and gave me courage to go to the critique group. When I was a kid, my mom was a school librarian and I recalled her saying to me at some point, honey, librarians are always looking for holiday books. And I don't, you know, maybe that's true, maybe it's not. There's a lot of holiday books that come out every year. I, when I, I had the idea for the Gingerbread Pirates, and I, I started writing it, and I wrote that one, and it, it got published. And then I thought, well, that was kind of fun. And I could do something kind of old-fashioned and write a Christmas story for my family every year. So then I wrote uh, A Night in Santa's Great Big Bag, and I, that one got published. And by that time, I'd probably started working on The Nutcracker Mice, which turned out to be a novel rather than a picture book, and that took a long time to write. Those are the books that got published, too. You know, holiday books do get published. <laughs>